we will never as a family eat at Red Rooster again. I may have please serve 12 cannolis. When's the last time you had a rip and roll, Noah? <laughs> So we've decided that we have nowhere near enough time to cook breakfast this morning before we go off to the MCG. My crazy suggests suggest that like a glass of Piano would fucking kick dick right there. Oh, Piano, <laughs> Piano would absolutely, I'm gonna go off like So staying with Nora and Anna, we've just woken up after being at the football last night and there's no coffee in the house. So we're going to the Preston Markets. We are going to pick up some coffee. We're gonna pick up some food. We're gonna make some breakfast. Also because they are letting me stay with them for free, so it's probably time I pay some rent and cook them a nice meal. So let's go to the markets, baby! <laughs> When's the last time you had a rip a roll, Noah? <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while, but I can't think of, I, can't, I think it's been at least 15 years since I went to a rip yeah. rooster, but I drive past one every day now and my temptation is rising. It says the rooster is called, the rooster is screaming, dude. Like, get that chicken a customer. <laughs> Let that chicken in. <laughs> Go shopping, baby. When I started working at the winery, did you expect that would lead to you having a stranger filming you going to the Preston Markets <laughs> on a Saturday morning? Not quite. No, I wouldn't have. <laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought so. Do you guys want to get coffee first? The most shameless touristy thing that I've done so far this trip is I bought merchandise from literally like every every venue. venue that we've been to. Like, I'm such a Melbourne touristy person. <laughs> so we've decided that we have nowhere near enough time to cook uh, breakfast this morning before we go off to the MCG to watch more football. So the time is now, where's that down here? Uh, the time is now 10.37. So then we're gonna meet back here in 10 minutes, then we're gonna go home, taste test all three of the dishes and see who's done the best breakfast for Preston. Man, the best man. Yeah, all right, hands in, ready? Good luck. Hands in. One, two, three, great, all right. Let's go. So far, I've seen a panini place that looks pretty dope, but uh, I think I might have stumbled into not the ready-to-eat food section. Pretty dope, but not gonna help me right now, unfortunately. Ooh. Right, so I'm seeing delicatessen. I think I got a plan. I think the plan is go with uh, 20 cannolis because I reckon anyone will be going sweet and then I'll probably go panini on the way back. But it's now 10.42, so I gotta get a wiggle on here. Hello, uh, may I please have 12 cannolis? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right, so we secured the cannolis. Now it's trying to get a panini and finish this whole brekkie off. Hey, how are you going? Um, can I please grab a auto and a capo on... Uh, I'll grab it on... One on ciabatta and one on stove baked. So I'll grab the capo and the ciabatta, and yeah, the one on stove baked. I reckon you went now. Um, what I will say is that we were incredibly uh, optimistic with our uh, time frame. Yeah, when you said 10 minutes at first, that was absolutely insanity. Yeah. I spent 10 minutes standing in line. Sunday morning, Preston Market, you reckon you're getting a panini under 10 minutes, right? How long have you lived here? Uh, about a week. Not long enough. <laughs> uh, that's fine. I also did go for longest line. That's yep. how I chose my my food. Yeah. Like, you know, that's going to be the popular food. spot, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I did just a bit of a wonder and then I saw something that I was like, oh yeah, that seems like a good deal. So now we have heaps oh. of cannolis. So <laughs> let's see how that. We have heaps of chicken donuts too. <laughs> Oh my god, the pastries. <laughs> I was like, no one else is gonna go sweet. You got just <laughs> So we've each got three pretty like, you know, market, fresh food, mm -hmm. beautiful, handcrafted pieces. 
Mm. I still think it's funny that if this red rooster that looked really derelict is open, we get a ripper roll to throw into the brunch mix this morning just Un to see how it compares. Unfortunately, I do not believe the red rooster is open until 12.30. Uh, I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google it. If it's open. <laughs> if it's open, we will eat brunch. Open. open. It's open. <laughs> I will turn this car around. <laughs> Hell yeah, hit that rooster drive through. Hi there, can we just get uh, a uh, triple original ripper, please? Triple ripper, sorry. Yeah, just outside, please. That's all, thank you. Thank you. Between the first window and the second window, Dad was just like cursing Red Rooster's name, like, we will never as a family eat at Red Rooster again. <laughs> awesome, thank, thank you, you so much. We've got, got that rooster, baby. Yeah, we went. We went again. Yeah. This is not on. Oh, I bet you can see through the shop. <laughs> okay, here we go. Going no straight in for. I'm just thinking about. In like 10 minutes time when I've eaten all of this and I'm like, alright, time for a gem donut. <laughs> <laughs> Am I crazy to suggest that like a glass of Fiano would fucking kick dick right now? Oh. Fiano, <laughs> Fiano would absolutely, I'm gonna go off for you. I get it. Bang. To the ripper. Yeah, to the ripper. <laughs> to the ripper. <laughs> Let her in. Note, it does go with the ripper. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. The use of dill in the mayo mm. is really good fucking point. insanely good. No, don't see any dill at the kernels to it, do you? No. Not one of the secret 11 herbs and spices. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, Colonel, if you're watching, dill, a real good herb. It honestly feels like the meal you would get at a buffet at a very big, very fancy airport lounge in like Qatar. Mm -hmm. So the ripper roll, tail end with the shawanka curry. That's fucking oh. awesome stuff. In my view, there's only one way to eat a cannoli of that size eat chocolate end, mm. the other chocolate end, and then you have the, the combo bite in the middle right again. The transition bite. I've got no notes. Well done, everyone. Mm -hmm. well done. Yeah. What did we think? <laughs> <laughs> I think the call of um, business class guitar uh, buffet of mm -hmm. what we had was absolutely spot on. The ripper roll was the least high quality thing, but mm -hmm. I didn't enjoy it any less. I think the addition of dill mm -hmm. in dill. the ripper is unbelievable. It was really sensational. The two sandwiches uh, from the panino, uh, panino? Yeah, oh, yeah. place yeah. in there. I reckon they were probably my favourite thing, just for the time of day. Like, the curry was awesome. Yeah. Mm. It woke me up a little bit. I've been a heater. Yeah. That's, that was the idea. That was the idea. I was like, I know where this is kind of going to go. Everyone's going to be pretty mellow. So I'm like, fuck it. Curry. Go. I love spicy food for breakfast because it does wake you up. It does. Particularly curry after you've had a few beers at the footy the night before. The curry in the ripper That's roll. Right. Yeah, that is the That's perfect. the one. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, the ripper roll is just a vessel for flavour. Yeah. So you get something else to put it in, bang. Mm. Yeah. Delicious. And also, I reckon we, we're all in agreement that the veggie sandwich yeah. was probably the more interesting. The vegetable sandwich with all the pickled and preserved veggies, like the, yeah. like peppers and stuff, was so mm. I was super into it. My favorite thing on the plate, yep, was the the fish roll that we had to start. The fish yeah. roll was excellent. Yeah. It was so good. I was so into it. Yeah. I think that uh, I think that fish uh, fish roll would have gone excellently with some red rooster dill mayo. <laughs> <laughs> And like the fact that that curry goes so well in the ripper roll. It's meant to be. Maybe the way to save Red Rooster is to turn it into a Shalai Confusion restaurant. <laughs> oh my yeah, god, like yes. I also think that uh, as far as wine pairing is concerned, Fiano is the absolute chef. For oh, Fiano so. Bob. Mm -hmm. so I think it just... With everything. Yeah, if you're in a business class lounge and they've got like a Fiano, like a textural wine that's not got oak on it, I think it's perfect because you can handle, you can handle like the spice, mm -hmm. you can handle some of the like, you know, vegetable and kind of meat stuff. You can handle the fish, the dill. Yeah. And I can handle cannoli. Uh, <laughs> that's the most important thing. The other exciting thing is now we're going to go off to the MCG. We're probably going to tell you at the MCG this afternoon for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we'll go do some uh, wine tastings there as well. Just continue our Epicurean yeah. day in Nam. If you're here, get to Preston Markets and check out all those spots. What was the Sri Lankan place called? Uh, Sri Lankan, I think it was, it was called Drum. Drum? Or drums. Drum yeah. or drums. That was sick. Really uh, good. Yeah, panino sandwiches were great. What, where'd you get your stuff? Hot jam donut. Hot jam donut. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm having at home. You know it, you, you know it, you love it. It's hot jam donut. Yeah. Yeah. Six for seven dollars. Yeah, so the Epicurean Trail of uh, Preston starts at Drum. 
Then you go to El Panino. Yeah. And then you go to Red Rest. <laughs> 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 it's not far away. It's not far away. <laughs>